When I look at this product, oh my gosh, it looks like a mini thing for Easter chocolate cookie bunny hutch kit. I'm a pharmacist. Welcome to Chuck MTN. Here's the thing, Wilton Industries is the company's name and the brand name is just Wilton. They issue an allergy alert on undeclared milk in ready to build chocolate cookie bunny hutch kit. So like kind of like Christmas when you have this whole gingerbread house kit. Well for Easter's they have a bunny Easter kit. <laughs> it's very colorful, very Easter spring-like. They did this initiating volunteer recall ready to build chocolate cookie bunny hutch kit. I wonder if you can eat it because oh my gosh it looks divine. Very colorful especially if you have kids. It's gonna be marvelous. Due to a milk allergen missing from the contained statement, this ingredient list on the package say skim milk powder as an ingredient. However, the statement did not include milk as required, which I don't understand. Like milk powder is okay, but milk, skim milk is not weird. Anyway, if you're not allergic to milk, who cares, right? It's so pretty. Like I would just want one just sitting in the back of my background and say, hey, we need to kind of celebrate Easter in a way. It looks marvelous. Yeah, it was exactly 2022 Easter seasonal item distributed nationwide through retailer stores and even e-commerce including Wilton.com on the website in the US. This item was sold in Colombia. Volunteer recall impacts lot 22005, 22006, 22007. So three lots total found on the bottom of the sides of the box. To date, no illnesses have been reported, oh, thank God, to the milk allergen. So oversight was brought to their attention as a result of a customer inquiry. Then they confirmed that the skim milk powder was included in the green list but not listed as contained statement. So it, in other words, it's just wording. Like milk product, skim milk powder, still like milk allergen stuff. So if you have any of that, like I said, like go ahead and discard it. But then again, like a lot of people build these things, not necessarily like have to consume them. So I don't know why it would be a problem if you're just building like a house kit. Perhaps if you have allergens and tell your kids don't eat it. But then again, they're kids. So <laughs> I know they tend to not listen to you, especially when, you know, they're frolicking around the house. Who knows what they can put in their mouth. And gosh, it will be a nightmare if they do have any kind of allergy reaction. You really don't want another emergency visit, right? Or if you have an EpiPen home or like Benadryl, I think that's okay too. Like I say, it's colorful, it's designed in flowers, and pinks, yellow, greenery stuff. Oh, and if you love baking, perhaps this is the right product for you. It just looks very festive and you can celebrate Easter that way. <laughs> Chocolate cookie bunny hutch cake. But I don't see any kind of bunny on here. Perhaps if it's on the side. But yeah, it was so colorful. It say calories is 120. Fats about 3%, saturated fat 8%, trans fat 0, 0 cholesterol, 2% sodium, carbs about 8%, total sugar, oh yes, <laughs> you're gonna go about 3.4% sugar, and protein 1 gram. Yeah, overall, not so bad. <laughs> Colorful, bright, great to celebrate Easter, and you know what to do if you don't have a milk allergen. Alrighty, you guys have a nice day. Bye bye.